Hey everyone, my name is Jared Renaissance and welcome to the Vegan Kitchen Takeover. Today we're going to be taking over my friend Michelle's house. She's at work right now. We're going to prepare some awesome food that just also happens to be gluten free as well. Our tomato tortilla soup. So, we're going to break in. She said the doors were locked. And so, uh, let's get great about the Vegan Kitchen Takeover. We're going to just sneak right in. And don't worry, I always let all my friends know when I'm going to be breaking into their house so there's no scares at all. Right? We're in. Okay, can you get through the the doors unlocked? She's told me that it was Okay, we're gonna get our stuff ready in the kitchen and we're gonna uh, start making our tomato tortilla soup. Welcome to the vegan kitchen takeover. Okay everyone, we're back and we're gonna do this thing now. One thing you should know is that the Vegan Kitchen Takeover, first of all, is all about vegan cooking. And secondly, it's about awesome music. So today we're going to be featuring two bands, two local bands from Grand Rapids actually. Midwest Skies, a pop punk band, and also Chinese Baseball, a rock band, right here. So any local regional bands out there, you want to uh, get in touch with us, contact us at the Vegan Kitchen Takeover at gmail.com. Yeah, let's get this thing started. So here's what we're going to do. We're making a tomato tortilla soup that also is gluten-free. We're going to be using Savory Foods gluten-free crust, which is also vegan. So I'll be showing you what we're going to be doing with that later on. But right now, let's get to cooking this. First of all, we're going to sweat our vegetables. We've got one whole onion, one whole red pepper, one whole jalapeno, three cloves of garlic, and we've also got this little guy. I always like to show the whole thing right here. This is an Anaheim pepper, one of my favorites. It's a, a little sweet and a little spicy. It's kind of one of those peppers that you bite into and you say, wow, that's good, that's not spicy. And then maybe about 10 seconds later, the heat starts to come in. So we'll take out some of these seeds. I'm gonna chop this up real quickly and get it ready for our pot. Take out some of these seeds. There we go. But we can keep about that many seeds in there, that's fine. It doesn't make it too spicy. Now I like uh, chunks in this soup. It's a great, nice, chunky type soup. So, as you can see already, I added the three tablespoons of vegetable oil in our pan right here. It's getting all nice and hot. And now, let's throw in our veggies, shall we? We're gonna throw in our, gar our uh, onions, one whole onion. We're gonna throw in one whole red pepper. And look at those chunks, just beautiful chunks. Some jalapeno pepper the seeds out, most of them, for the wusses out there. I know Michelle doesn't like too much heat, so I'm going to throw these guys in there. I'm going to sweat that a little bit. Now while we sweat this, I'm going to be adding the garlic in a little bit. Let's take a gander at some new music here from Chinese Baseball. This song is called Hate. That's one that I didn't leave too chunky actually. I chopped that up pretty good. So this is sweating nicely right here. Just sweat for about a couple minutes. Other ingredients we have here, we've got about uh, 28 ounces of diced tomatoes in the juice, all natural right there. 
We'll wait till we get a nice sponsor and then we'll keep the label on. And then 11 ounces of corn right here. I don't drain the juice at all. Keep that juice in there. And it uh, just adds a little more flavor to our tomato tortilla soup. Okay, one of our sponsors I should talk about is Gluten Free Licious from Savory Foods. They've created an amazing gluten free pizza crust that uh, happens to be gluten free, of course, and also vegan. It's uh, one of my faves. We're using their garlic thin crust. They also have a garlic and herb crust. We're going to be chopping that up later and we are going to be uh, making some fried tortilla chips with those for our soup. I wanted to use a lower pan today just so you can see it uh, much better than using a, a real big pan. A pot, I should say. Okay, that's it's looking like a, it's a sweated quite a bit. It's sweated? Is that even a word? We sweated the heck out of them veggies. I always picture a green pepper in like a sauna with a little towel on. Just sweating it out. Oh, that wasn't a great joke, I know. Okay, we've got our corn in there. As I told you, we kept that juice in. We didn't drain the juice. Keep that juice in there. Can you heat that up? We're gonna add our tomatoes, nicely diced. You know, canned tomatoes always get a bad rap, but the thing about canned tomatoes is when they're when they're putting these in the can, the the tomatoes are perfectly ripe. So that's what's so great about it. So you're getting some great, great flavor right here from these canned tomatoes. No sugar was added to these tomatoes, completely natural, just in a can. So you can keep that up a bit. I should also tell you, we're going to be using um, Massel. It's a company from Australia. They have uh, created an incredible um, vegan line of bouillon cubes. Yes, it says chicken, chicken style, but it is vegan, which is awesome. They have a vegetable, they also have a beef, and I'm sure they have some other crazy awesome flavors. But this stuff is awesome. So we're going to use four cubes. Each cube is good for one cup of water. We're going to be putting four cups of water into this bad boy. Okay. I should also tell you too, we're going to be adding a half a cup of salsa. So choose your favorite kind of salsa. Just go crazy. And if you want to give it an even stronger flavor, feel free to add a cup of salsa. That's always good too. Can we get a little salsa on that camera? No? Okay, and the spices we're going to be using today, very Hispanic driven spices. Some chili powder, and we've got some cilantro right here, some nice herbage. Okay, we're going to sweat this a little bit right now. We're going to keep cooking this out just a little bit more, and we'll be back after this special little message from the Vegan Kitchen Takeover. And we are back, my friends. We were talking before about this awesome Massel uh, bouillon cubes. Like I said, it's an incredible uh, stock. It's from, uh, from Australia. We're going to use four cubes to four cups of water. I've got four cups right here. Some pipe stock, if you will. And uh, what I like to do is I like to crush these up with my hands. You can. They're nice and dry. And you can kind of just crush it all right in. We're going to be adding the water right over it, so it's totally fine. That's not going to... Too, too strong. They're pretty easy to crush. Ooh. My hands all dirty. One more to crush right on there. And remember, kids, I always wash my hands. I'm preparing some awesome food. Okay, so while we're going to be uh, still cooking this, let's listen to some uh, new music here from Midwest Sky. It's uh, their latest album that was uh, released a couple weeks ago. The song is called Like Me Like You, and it's right here on the Vegan Kitchen Table. Underground, the kids are all right till they're dead. 
But I'm just hearing what you said A million times run through my brain A nightcap just to keep me sane When 3 a.m. rolls round again You'll find me here alone, my friend And you can keep your opinions to yourself Pretend you're someone else like me But you can't go down without this scene So please keep staring at the wall Just waiting for the call To say that everyone will be okay They're not So just accept it Good stuff there from Midwest Skies. Check those bad boys out. They're a bunch of good guys. Okay, now right here, I'm not making a special adult beverage. These are actually our spices. You can tell that we've broken into somebody's kitchen because they didn't have all the right same amount of bowls for us to use. So we've kind of uh, just have been creative. So I've got a uh, half a tablespoon of chili powder we're going to put right on in here. It smells awesome. Whoever invented chili powder is a genius. And I will use that. I'd love to use that in everything that I could. And also, I know there's a lot of haters out there of this cilantro, but this stuff is so good. I I am a huge fan. You either like cilantro or you or you. Actually, I was gonna say you either love cilantro or you hate it. We're gonna add this right to it as well too. Back that spoon right on in there. And this is three tablespoons of cilantro. Now at the end of this uh, this video, we'll have the uh, recipe up for you to check on out. Okay, so now we're gonna let this uh, heat up and soak in all those flavors. I'm gonna move this bad boy over to here. Okay, so now we're gonna do some frying. And um, how do we do that? It's first, well, let me explain a little bit. This is the gluten-free crust from Gluten Free Licious. Savory Foods is Gluten Free Licious line. It is not only gluten-free, but also vegan, which is awesome to me. And uh, Michelle, who we're making this for, she's actually celiac, so this works out quite well. Look at that, we've got a poster too to show everyone what we are using. So I am going to coat this pan with some, uh, some veggie oil. And then I've uh, cut this into some thin strips. Basically what I did is I did three, uh, three lines down, actually I'm sorry, two lines down, and then we just cut this way and uh, we created these little guys. Once this gets nice and hot, we're going to fry those. And it works out great. Hope that's getting nice and hot. Crank that heat up. We want it to be nice and sizzly. And when it cascades down the pan like that, that's when you know that it is nice and hot. And ready to add these bad boys. Add these guys in there. Basically, I'm going to fry these guys until they're nice and golden brown. And while this gets going, we're going to take a quick break to talk to you about our next vegan kitchen takeover happening right in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So we'll be back in a few. Okay, we are back. Hopefully you can join us for the Vegan Kitchen Takeover happening at Chicago 7 Pizzeria in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay, so um, in, um, in YouTube land, uh, you don't realize this because we came back from that commercial, but we've been doing this for about a good five minutes, frying these up nicely, getting them nice and crisp. Now, a nice little seasoning I like to put on there is just about uh, uh, two tablespoons of salt and about a half a tablespoon of uh, chili powder and that's it I just mixed it right up and you've got a nice little seasoning that we'll put right on this after we uh, pop it on to our little bowl right there. Now check out this, the soup is boiling nicely. Surprise it hasn't gone over the edge yet. It's looking amazing and I could actually lower that now and let it simmer. Okay let's get this bad boy off of this guy. Yeah, water. Pop these off right here. These are nice and nice and crispy. Oh yeah, very nice and crispy and hot. Okay. So we're gonna sprinkle a little of our seasoning on there right now. And this is uh, quite a bit of salt, so we don't need to uh, don't need to use that much. And there we have it, friends. We've got 
our crust, thanks to uh, Gluten Free Licious from Savory Foods. And we've got our soup right here. Thanks to the Vegan Kitchen Takeover. Thank you, Michelle, for letting us use your house. The next image you see will be a nice bowl of this guy right here, tomato tortilla soup. Check out the recipe right now on the screen. Thank you so much. Have a good day.